Oh, he, I thought he was about to fall off. <gasps> oh! Look, it's me! For all things Halloween. <laughs> This is Hauntformer, and it's a very special time of year again, boils and ghouls. It's time to hunt the caribou. And by caribou, I mean the boo. And by boo, I mean Halloween. We're, we're going Halloween hunting. Can you dig it? In the cool of the evening when everything is getting kind of groovy I call you up and ask you if you'd like to go with me and see a movie Honey, I'm home Don't act like you haven't made that joke before Slender man, slender man. Oh, I'm just kidding. Check it out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. The bathroom is kind of a vibe. Hello? 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 Well, as soon as you walk in, you can see the presence of something spooky. And by that I mean the leftover 4th of July merchandise. No, I'm just kidding. There is legitimate spooks and scares. We just have to find them. Now, if I were something scary, where would I hide? <laughs> Oh, no, sorry. I'm gonna be real right now. This says a lot about our society. <laughs> the heck is, oh my gosh. Yo, he got whacked with the ugly stick. What is going on? There's random severed heads and creepy cloth in this aisle of gnomes and summer stuff. Uh, uh, here's the next aisle, empty, other than ghosts, just random sheet ghosts, just chilling out. Well, I finally struck a bit of gold. Maybe I'd call this like silver, maybe bronze at best. Um... But there is spooky stuff to be seen. Is it like top tier? I mean, you have these big candles. Oh, he, I thought he was about to fall off. Oh! Oh my gosh! Just an update, he's okay. He's also $75, so there you go. That's the harmonica skeleton. There are two of them at this location. You also have spooky trees. Right there, right there. And that is, that looks like Christmas. I'm not even gonna activate that even though there's a ghost on top of it. I refuse. And you have a candy corn ghost. Little potion bottles, little, uh, little globe, little globe. Um, other assorted home decor, it looks like. I'm just trying to see what piques my fancy. You have a little skeleton dragon. I swear the other location that's not too far from here has a lot of other unique items. However, they don't have this. This is a giant, you hear that? Giant stone gargoyle. And here we have a crow that is way too big on top of this perch. This aisle does seem to have a bit more. Here we have the little triceratops. <coughs> Noise is not included. Uh, you have a little cat in a hat. Not the uh, titular cat in a hat, but there is a cat in a hat. You'd have some ornaments, uh, assorted skeletons. You have this octopus, 
which is pretty cool, pretty weird. Uh, the bat, which has always been a favorite. And I thought this was an alien before. I don't think it is. I think it's just a baby skeleton, but that is interesting. There's a rabbit up there. Do you see that? Well, hang on, let me... Did you get a good look? There it is. I was trying to hop like a rabbit. You get it? And uh, can I use it? A little velociraptor. You see him? Alan! They do have some cool brain candles and a uh, skull candle. This is cool. Also, uh, please forgive the music. It's literally right above me. Let me try to run over here. <sighs> a little better. Here is the Frankenstein baby skeleton. Except why are the bolts bone? Lore. And now we have transported to another at home, the one that I said has better stuff. Cause look, it's Zero. Night Before Christmas Zero. Remember him? Yeah. Check this out. They have way more. We're about to determine it once and for all you guys. Who's gonna win? We need to know. Go! Oh, that was really loud. <laughs> Go, 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 go. I'm not gonna lie. I actually kind of like the turtle. I mean, to be fair, most of these skeleton animals are not really that accurate nor scary, but they're kind of fun. Rabbit one, I'm not crazy about. Turtle's cool. Dragon's okay. This one is okay. I thought it was an alien. I don't think it is. Um, uh, don't break things, please. Octopus is cool. I really like this spider. Did you notice the spider? I like the spider. It's cool. You got a crow. You got the the dinosaurs we saw before. Here's the perched cat. And you got another dog. You got a lot of skeletons. I pointed these out in my short, which if you haven't watched my shorts or my TikTok, please do. Because you can see stuff before it comes out here. Uh, but these guys, I love green, neon green stuff. But why? Why? on earth is it $12.99? I don't get it. Whoa, 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 14 for the regular one, what? Okay, that does not make any sense. By the way, like this video if you're enjoying it. Uh, but there's plenty more Halloween, so stay watching. We have a lot of yard decor signs, very interesting stuff. Then we also have this skull with a snake coming through it, 25 bucks for him. This is one of the neatest things, which is kind of telling, but it's this Frankenstein monster sign, and he's 12.99, which is not terrible. You also have these lanterns that I'm gonna guess light up. We don't have time for that, there's more stuff. You have a skeleton cowboy taking a bubble bath. <laughs> I don't know, I don't get this one. And you have a skeleton drinking a drink on a barrel. That one makes sense. There's also uh, a skeleton cowboy with a horse makes sense, but this one doesn't. He's like, he's like on Twitter on the toilet. Oh wait, he's not on the toilet. He's on a stool. Doesn't matter. Why does he have a laptop and a coffee? I don't get it. Here's another cool skeleton that we saw at the other location, the Frankenstein's monster and a teddy bear. Why on earth is it? Uh, Freddy Vazbert. You have some other stuff, some tombstones. You have this light up ghost. Let's get them both going. Let's get let's get a choir going. Oh, that's spooky. That's spooky. Just take a look. It's in a book. A reading rainbow. And over in this aisle, they do have a couple more items, mostly some ooky, spooky skeletons, which who doesn't love those? We also have some Halloween floating candles, and I don't know why I've never seen these before, but I really do dig them. Speaking of candles, they also have bleeding ones, in case uh, you're a little low. More pumpkins, it seems. You have these little guys. Say hello, little guys. Thank you very much. And this pumpkin I quite like because look at that tree. 
that is one creepy haunted tree. You know me and haunted trees and plants, I really dig them. Got this very classic scala pumpkin skeleton. Yeah, yeah, that's a great skeleton. And then you have this inverted pumpkin that's black with orange on the inside. And that is pretty cool. You also have a Jack Skellington tombstone that is kind of squishy and feels like it's made for your dog. Ooh, ooh. There's that, I should have thrown it, but I didn't feel like it. And, ooh, yes. And these guys, the Reaper. Seasons don't feel the Reaper. Or do the wind, the sun, or rain. Guys, we just figured out a huge conspiracy. Okay, so you see this skeleton, right? See how big he is? All right, you see that? Look, $14.99, okay? You following? Stay with me, stay with me. Stay with me, stay with me. Don't leave, don't click off. Don't click off. Look at this. You see that? It's 15. Look how small, what? Oh, I didn't see you there. What's wrong? I'm a fungi. But you all know me. I really like the science stuff. You have this pretty interesting, um, Oh, it doesn't even, there's nothing in it. I've never seen a snow globe with nothing in it. <laughs> okay. Uh, you got you got that. You also have these uh, string lights that play Ghostbusters. Except logically, these don't make any sense. Why would ghosts be singing about Ghostbusters? The, the ghost, whatever. One of my favorite things here, and I know it's really quite trivial, but it is this mushroom fungus with an eyeball I don't know why, that's just really cool to me. I like fungusy, weird things. Anyways, also some candles, skull, tombstones, coffins, even a rib cage, even a heart. Cat in the hat again, going down here. This is some of the really cool stuff. You have a heart on a stand and a brain. I really like both of those, but they're 20 bucks, which is a little steep. Um, you have the I uh, Fortune um, Ouija uh, thing, cauldron, couldn't think of the word. And this guy, I really like this guy too. It is a green glowing skull with a green brain. And in the same respect, a pumpkin with a green brain. Why does the pumpkin have a green brain? Well because he has to think about things. Both of these are $14.99. We also have this witch book for $35. Lots of stuff here at the at-home store, but we're gonna traverse on to the next one. It's like 95 in Florida right now. It does not feel very spooky, but we're gonna make it spooky, dang it in five minutes. It's pumpkin spice water. And now we've traveled to Joanne's, not for fabric, for Halloween. And here are the birthing pains of Halloween at Joanne Fabrics, which I haven't been to in years, but you know what? Desperate times call for desperate measures. They do have some pretty neat things. A lot of moon stuff here, see that? Moons and croissants. Snakes, eyes. We can just point out things that we see. I see a witch hat, or maybe it's an upside down witch hat. This haunted house is kind of spooky. 40 bucks. It's a pretty sturdy piece. Honestly, it's not uh, far off from some of those Lee Max Department 56 things. Hey, boo. That's for you. Uh, we also have a fuzzy pumpkin, a non fuzzy pumpkin, a fuzzy pumpkin that makes my fingers feel weird. Sorry, fuzzy pumpkin. And then other ones. These ones. This stuff kind of looks like it's from Target which is interesting. 
you have a skull, you have a skull with a crow on top of it, and a skull with a snake through it. Now I have seen typewriters, Wendy, but I've never seen a seamstress uh, sewing thing. I wish that, that was animated. Look, a fuzzy skeleton. A quite rare one in the wild these days. Wait, wait, how much did that say? Oh my God. Even Joanne's has the big skeleton. This is insane. This thing is sweeping all the Halloween stores. And look, apparently it's 40% off right now, unless we're talking about these pillows, but I like the skeleton better, just a little bit more. Here you have some of the bathroom stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna stop that. And cool boxes. I never thought uh, there'd come the day where I would remark about cool boxes, but they do exist. They're here at Joann's. Uh, they also have some bat signs, quite lovely. Clarys. You can uh, rub the lotion on your skin with these moths. And we have some bats. Oh, that's kind of cool. I quite like that. I just like weird, odd things. Even that's kind of cool. Why are moths creepy? They're like butterflies, but creepy. And you have this, kind of a vintage looking witch sign. I quite like that orange yellow color. Very aesthetically pleasing. <gasps> it's naked. Well, I mean, that kind of makes sense. They're really playing party in the USA. Fourth of July is over. Well, you know, while we're partying in the USA, waiting for Halloween, they do have the new uh, KFC Double Down, uh, a skeleton rooster. 35 bucks. These skeletons are a little steep, in my opinion. Just a tad. But you also have this skeleton which lights up red. That's actually pretty cool, but that's gonna run you $60. Oh my gosh. And they do have the DIY scares with some cool ones like this broom that looks to be, oh, that's just a hanging thing. But this looks like a stakeable type of zombie skeleton hand. And I guess there's more on the way. I did not expect this to make noise. Oh my gosh, these sound effects are violent for this skull. What the heck? Now he's bubbling? What is going on? What is happening? Door creaking. Oh no. Stray wiener. Oh, he wags his tail and everything. Let's see him do a trick. Roll over. I see your future. <gasps> yes, you're subscribing. This pillow is kind of a vibe. It ain't no sin to take off your skin and dance around your bones. Where are we going to now? Michael! Do 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 Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Michael. I met him 15 years ago. I was told there was nothing left. Maybe there'll be Halloween or something. All right, no more Donald Pleasance, all right. <gasps> Summer, it's dying, and it's only July. It's all my fault. I'm killing it. Oh, look, there's some orange stuff. Now, I do have a complaint. This is the fall? What? No way. Yeah, it says fall, look, look at the tag. I mean, I'll, I'll, let me be fair. 
The, the mushrooms, the fungus is cool. I like that. I like the aesthetic here. My brief assessment has confirmed this is the fall. Uh, this is the fall of fall, guys. I mean, like, again, mushrooms and fungus is kind of cool in like a creepy, weird way, but this is not doing it for me. Maybe there's some ladies out there that really like it, but it's not my vibe. A lot of these aisles are still empty as expected, but they do have the spooky candles. They have pumpkin pie, vanilla kai, hey, that rhymed, pancake, buttered rum. What does a sunflower smell like? I need to know this answer. Oh yeah, sunflower smell. Pumpkin. <laughs> you get a first smell, smell it. <sighs> My turn. <sighs> oh yeah, that's good stuff. <sighs> now this, this looks like fall. This is what I'm talking about. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm, I'm cool with this. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be fall or summer or some monstrosity of an amalgamation of the two, but sunflowers for some reason fit spring, summer, and fall. Weird. I actually kind of like this. This would be cool for like haunt purposes. I don't know what entirely, like a botany plant thing, but that's kind of cool for haunt purposes. For a decoration, I'm not so sure. And now I'm at another Michaels just for you. And look at what they have. <gasps> oh my gosh. Wait, this was here before. That's awesome. Look at the mummy. Look at the mummy. <laughs> they got mummies, they got ghosts. They got things that hate you the most. They got a spider on a stick. They got, oh no, fuzzy hands. Oh no. Oh, look at that. They got an eyeball that's like a hollow scream. That is cool. They got beakers. What? Oh wait, they have that. I forgot they have that. They have Medusa. This is one of the coolest things. Look at that. I mean, it kind of looks like, uh, okay, it doesn't kind of, it very much looks like dead Groot, but that is cool. It's like a tree skull, 30 bucks. It's made of like resin. They also have a regular skull, but man, next to that, like there's no competition. Then you have a planter that is a rib cage. That's really neat because you can have like vines and stuff growing through it. That is awesome. And look, they also have a baby doll head that's crying. They have a heart. And look at this bat little thing. <laughs> I mean, it isn't a ton. Look at the moths. There's moths everywhere this year. What is going on? This is crazy. This is insane. This is crazy. I don't know why I neglected to talk about this, but if you're a uh, plant parent, then you might really dig this because like the plant would grow over it and onto the skull, or you could just use it as a really weird looking koozie. Well, there you have it, everybody. At home, where else do we go? Joann's, Michael's, Halloween in July. I know, I know. Hey. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to check out the shorts. Don't forget. Don't forget to, to click on Frankenstein and nothing will happen. Don't forget that Halloween is on its way and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, <laughs> for all things Halloween, this is Hauntformer. <laughs> Get that guy away.